growing peonies from seed uh, both herbaceous and tree peonies you can use the same techniques for both more or less um, pretty straightforward but it is a long-term project you're going to take years and years before you see any flowers and they are not don't grow very big in their first year or two so they need a lot of looking after you want to have them in pots or in trays so unless you're dealing with species parents they're not going to come true to seed so you're not going to get something necessarily that looks like either of your parents so in order to get seeds you need pollination so you can either do this yourself manually, you can choose two parents or you might self-pollinate a plant itself which may or may not result in seeds, they may be self-sterile or they may not so you can do it yourself manually or you can leave it up to the wind and the bees and sometimes you'll get pollination successfully and sometimes you won't, you'll get empty seed pods if you go and do it yourself by hand you will need to have the flowers, the two parents flowering at the same time and you'll need to transfer pollen from one plant which you can see here in the picture onto the stigma of the other plant which is pretty straightforward, just take one flower break it off while the pollen's fresh and rub it into the centre of your seed parent flower Having said that, some of them are sterile, so especially like so some of the double flowers, they won't have any pollen in them at all. So you can try using them as seed parents. If you've had successful pollination, you should get, once the petals fall away, you'll see the seed pods should start to swell up and they'll be green initially and once you get into the end of the summer you'll see those that have uh, had a successful pollination be getting quite large and as they start to brown off towards getting nearer to winter eventually they'll start to split open and you've got a reasonable amount of time before you have to actually collect the seeds they'll stay inside the pods even as they start to split open and you'll see in the pods the seeds that are viable are quite large the size of a, a pea or larger um, and those that are just chaff will be smaller um, and you can chuck them out so you're looking for those that are larger and be at least the size of a pea and generally smooth um, but more commonly up to the size of a marble <coughs> So you want to collect the seeds while they're still while they're still in the pod before they've been dropped and basically as they're starting to change colour so they'll go from a light colour, a creamy colour to a dark colour like a dark brown or black. So just as they're starting to change colour is when to um, harvest them and the sooner the better ideally as they do start to get quite a hard seed coat. Um, which can delay or make germination a little slower so once you have your seeds collected they do have quite a long dormancy period that has to be broken so in nature they will fall on the ground go through winter then the next spring as the ground warms they will start to develop roots but no shoot will emerge that first summer then they need to go through another winter a cold period and then in the following spring you'll get a shoot so if you want to speed up that process and there's nothing to stop you planting them and letting nature take its course but you'll have a couple of years before you even see a shoot so if you want to speed that up you need to stratify your seeds which means putting them uh, collecting them putting them in a moist medium and I like to use plastic bag you can just use soil or vermiculite or sphagnum something that's moist not too wet um, and then you can put it somewhere warm for two or three months so label your bag put it somewhere warm like uh, in with your hot water cylinder 
and eventually if you check on them regularly you should eventually start to see roots forming once you see roots forming on most of your seeds you want to put them in the fridge give them a couple of months in the fridge and then ideally if you've timed it well you should be good to plant them out in spring or summer and they should start to develop uh, shoots pretty soon after that <coughs> So what I would generally do is plant them out into trays because the seedlings in their first year are not very big and here's a first year herbaceous seedling that's only just come up so it's November here so this has been up for this is the southern hemisphere this has been up for probably a month and in their first year they won't get a lot bigger than that they basically stay pretty small so having them in trays is far easier to look after them. Um, and so here we've got a two-year-old tree peony seedling and see it's still still very small basically they will like the herbaceous they will come up and rapidly grow to a certain size and then they won't get much bigger that season but generally they're developing a root um, sort of a carrot like root um, which is is like their tuber their food store so it's two-year-old tree peony and then we have a couple of three-year-old tree peonies and you can see they're still not really close to a flowering size so it's a long process <coughs>